All right, I'm going to show you three interesting scriptures that destroy, totally obliterate, and refute the whole concept, the whole idea of Christianizing rock music, Christian contemporary music is what they call it. It's not Christian whatsoever. It's glorifying the flesh, which we covered in the last video, how the purpose of music is to glorify God. Well, Christian contemporary music glorifies the flesh, and ultimately they're, they're clapping for the performers, not for God, which, of course, the God of CCM is a false God, obviously, but... Not going to get too much into that, but you can't take something clean from something that's unclean. You can't Christianize something that is satanic and about fornication. That is metal music and rock music and death metal, whatever. I mean, there's actually Christian death metal now. That, that's that's the weird thing. That's the best part. There's Christian death metal. Christian death metal. So death metal is somehow can be Christianized and repackaged to be holy, apparently. You can't you can't imitate the world and try to use that. You can basically what the, what the whole philosophy of CCM is, the whole philosophy of Christian Christian rock music, is trying to hold on to the world and Jesus Christ at the same time. You can't do that. I mean, Demas in Second Timothy chapter four verse ten, he forsook he forsook Paul because he loved this present world. He was a carnal Christian trying to hold on to the world and Jesus Christ. So, it's a problem. But Job chapter 14, verse number 4. Turn there in your King James Bibles. Job 14, verse number 4. Three scriptures that destroy the concept of Christianizing fornication rock music. Job 14, verse number 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Not one, but the exception of music. Oh, no, it doesn't say, it doesn't say that at all. Not one. You can't bring any clean thing from an unclean thing. You can't Christianize something that is satanic. Same thing with Christmas. Okay, you can't Christianize a heathen holiday like Christmas. You can't Christianize. I mean, most Christians rightfully oppose Halloween. Halloween is a wicked satanic holiday that is literally the Satanist holy day. It's literally a holy day for witches and people who practice witchcraft. You can't Christianize Halloween. However, you can't Christianize Christmas any more than you can Christianize Halloween. Christmas is, is every bit as wicked and heathen as Halloween. And I'll be covering that in future videos. The, the satanic heathen origins of Christmas is not something you can Christianize. And you can't use Romans 14.5 out of context to justify celebrating a holiday rooted in heathenism. Because it's not a holiday esteemed unto the Lord. It's a, it's a holiday about heathenism. And, you're, and like Jeremiah chapter 10 says, you know, you're not supposed to learn the way of the heathen. So not a bit of a side topic, but you can bring clean thing of unclean thing, not one. You can't Christianize fornication rock music. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse number 15. That which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered. See, the crooked rock music can't be made straight by putting Christian lyrics to it or whatever. That which is crooked can't be made straight. And finally, the best scripture that totally describes the whole CCM movement as well as refutes it, Romans chapter 3 and verse number 8. And not rather, as we as we be slanderously reported, and as some affirm that we say, let us do evil that good may come, whose damnation is just. The whole purpose of CCM is let us do evil that good may come. Let us take satanic heathen uh, fornication rock music and Christianize it so that good may come. Let us do something evil. Let us do the way of the world so that good may come. Let us do it. Let us, you know, because the ends justify the means, which is actually a Jesuit phrase. Let us do evil that good may come. But what does Paul say? Whose damnation is just. Because you're trying to, take a, trying to take a clean thing from an unclean thing. You can't do that. Your damnation is just. You cannot take any, uh, any, more, uh, any more than you can't Christianize Halloween. You can't Christianize Christmas. Christmas is every bit as wicked as Halloween. Just as you can't Christianize satanic, heathen, fornication, rock music. Any more than you can Christianize uh, rap or any more you can Christianize even, even many pop songs. You can't Christianize those either. Because they're all about, like, you know, sexual immodesty, all about, again, just glorifying the flesh, not giving praise to God. So those are three good scriptures that destroy the concept of Christian rock music. So don't be deceived by the whole CCM movement. They're singing praises to their false god, the Antichrist. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.